Again, come back soon. We're expecting an amazing new batch of robots for your entertainment. The next shell will be even more interesting. Please come back here for a sequel. I see you enjoyed the show so much. Leave to purchase a ticket. Please go to the ticket booth at the other end of the foyer. Don't forget the snack bar. Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave anything in the coat check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Leave this place! your current status, Comrade Major? Not now, okay? Enjoy the show? Thank you. Please come again. Come back soon. We're expecting an amazing new batch of robots for your entertainment. The next shell will be even more interesting. Please come back here for a sequel. I see you enjoyed the show so much. Leave to purchase a ticket. Please go to the ticket booth at the other end of the foyer. Don't forget the snack bar. Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave anything in the coat check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Leave this place! Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. 
Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. The enemy has raised its alert level to maximum, Major. Is it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? <clears throat> no. I didn't, Granny Zina. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me. Even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. He's not an engineer. He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant and started changing shit around. He fooled the central hub and made it think innocent people were an invading army. That's it. So why would a construction bot have built-in missile launchers, huh? Unfortunately, after analyzing your logic, I am forced to draw the same conclusion. Especially... your suspicions are more justified than you know. What do you mean? Exactly that. Listen to this recording. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. To my profound chagrin, I failed to pay sufficient attention to the fr Robots can be switched to combat mode. I took it as a colorful expression Molotov used to cast dispersions upon Dr. Sechenov. The Atomic Heart Project. Trov wasn't lying. Sechenov and the Politburo want to conquer the U.S. and the entire world. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the Beta Connectors? Because they work but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even Collective after the launch. Especially not Collective after the launch. For Collective, anyone connected via the Beta Connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a Beta Connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head, not implanted in the skull.
Receiving data. Authorization. Richard Nichayev. Access granted. What is this place? Another testing ground. There should be military blueprints around here. Uh, I figured as much. Listen, Mr. Chatty Librarian, where'd you get all this intel about the military blueprints in these so-called civilian labs? Why shouldn't I have that information? For instance, I am a device created under extreme circumstances for... extreme situations. Right. For a spec ops agent. You understand this all too well, Comrade Major. Or at least you will soon.
After rereading classical works on magnetism by James Maxwell and Henry Cavendish, Facility 3826 scientists questioned some of their foreign colleagues' fundamental assumptions and decided to recreate their famous experiments in electromagnetic fields and geomagnetism. This testing ground employs special magnetic gravitational test benches to simulate the various potential conditions of the Earth's magnetic field. This allows us to better study underground deposits and find more effective ways to exploit them for the benefit of the Soviet Union.
Easy, asshole.
after rereading classical works on magnetism by James Maxwell and Henry Cavendish, Facility 3826 scientists questioned some of their foreign colleagues' fundamental assumptions and decided to recreate their famous experiments in electromagnetic fields and geomagnetism. This testing ground employs special magnetic gravitational test benches to simulate the various potential conditions of the Earth's magnetic field. This allows us to better study underground deposits and find more effective ways to exploit them for the benefit of the Soviet Union.
the might of the Soviet army, our great nation's climate is regarded as one of the decisive factors that thwarted invading Western powers time and time again. However, Soviet scientists have now demonstrated that low temperatures also protect against diseases and epidemics. Acting as a natural filter, dust particles from the air and promptly kills airborne viruses, bacteria, and allergens. Only frosty air can be safely regarded as completely wholesome. The cold temperatures also stimulate the immune system. This is why this workshop is dedicated to simulating the cold environments of the USSR to help study the effects, both positive and negative, of low temperatures.
Select the desired. Select the desired procedure. Saving data. 